back to Isaac Games. I'm here with another ARC tutorial. We're going to walk you through how to do the brood mother on Gamma. And it's essentially the same for Gamma, Beta, and Alpha. Just Beta and Alpha add more health, and the boss will do more damage as well. So you'll see here what you need. I recommend having 18 Megatheriums and 2 Euteranuses. Um, the Megatheriums do bonus damage to bugs and arachnids and snakes and whatnot, and that's what you're going to be fighting in there. And the Broodmother herself is a giant spider, so they do 375% extra damage and take 75% reduced damage from the bug. So they're the best thing to take on all three levels of the Broodmother, and it makes it really easy. So me and my tribe mate Mimadu are going to be sitting on top of the Uteranuses, buffing them and debuffing the enemies. So all you do is you take the three artifacts needed for Gamma, it's Artifact of the Clever, Hunter, and Massive, and then you just summon the Broodmother Gamma Portal. There we go. A portal is coming up. It'll transfer us in in 30 seconds. Always max out the number of dinos you can take into a fight. Always take as many as you can. So it's going to pop you right into, a, uh, right into an arena and immediately start the fight from there. Set your things to attack my target, and then hit attack tar <laughs> attack that target. And they will all run off to do their thing. Make sure you remount onto your uh, dino, else you'll kind of get stuck. And then, of course, just... Go ahead and buff the Megatheriums with the Uteranuses. And you'll see Mima do over there is doing the same thing, buffing and debuffing. But you'll see they're outputting thousands of damage and taking twos and threes as their own damage. So it's just absolutely insane. And make sure you're debuffing the enemy as well as that'll make them do even more. But you'll see it, it's really easy on Gamma. And of course, you're going to do the same thing with higher level Megatheriums for Beta and Alpha. So this is the whole arena. You got half an hour to do it. We're clearly not going to need that amount of time. I can't believe it's only doing like a hundred damage to our Megatheriums. This is a boss. Broodmother is the easiest of the bosses in my opinion. It's the first one that you should beat if you want to get right into the tech. Engrams, uh, because it doesn't, like taming a couple Megatheriums and breeding them for a day or two really doesn't take that long. Alright, just one third left. Just one more fifth to go. Not all the Megatheriums are able to hit it right now. So you can try to, like, if you're not stuck in the pile like me, you can try to walk around the edge and get your Megatheriums to, like, follow you and then reattack so that uh, they will all be able to hit it. Because you'll see, like, only one Megatherium's on this side. And you could have at least three or four more Megatheriums attacking it at once.
uh, on beta and alpha, you probably won't be up attacking the boss because the spiders around you, the little ones, are going to be doing uh, a ton more damage. So you'll want to stay back a safe distance just so your Uteranuses don't die. So there you have it. Defeated in including us transferring in here with your Megatheriums and Uteranuses. It's defeated in under 5 minutes and 30 seconds. And then you just wait for it to return you. It will return you right back to the blue obelisk. You can pick up all your Megatheriums and either jump right into the beta or go back home with your tech stuff. Well, I hope this was helpful. It's really easy, but new players are always kind of uh, scared to do it for the first time. So that's all it takes. Good luck. Thanks for watching.